Hello to all. Today we're going to be unboxing the Leap 08 from Scalaworks. This will actually be my second mount from them. I have the Leap 04 on my lightweight AR build. I very much like that optic and the lightweight of the mount is the reason it's on a lightweight rifle and that characteristic carries across with lots of their products, especially this one here. Very lightweight and made of the good stuff, 7075 aluminum. So the packaging that it comes in is pretty nice, solid card cardboard, there's little magnets here, so it has some retention there on its own, shoot driven, open it up, you have product information, you have the mount that is vacuum sealed and plastic. And you have two driver bits here for the two varying sizes you'll need on this right here. So this little part right here was not screwed in, but we'll get back to that later. So this is the Leap 08. This one right here, the 08, is offered only in 30 millimeter at two different heights, 1.57 and 1.93. Then there is a Leap 09, that one's a 34 millimeter, offered in the same two heights. There was a Leap 7 before these, as far as I know, that is discontinued. These are the two newer models and the main difference besides the weight savings is this little accessory rail right here which allows you to attach the kick and i'll be doing an unboxing of this at a different time and what this allows you to do is take you know like a sro or rmr they all it is also offered for acro so you mount it up right here so you have an offset mount right here, have your RMR Acro tucked in nice and tight, you don't add a whole bunch of weight and you're able to have a quick, much much quicker optic, infinite eye relief unlike an LPVO uh, right here on the side. There are three main features, two of them unique to this mount right here. One of them is the level drive right here. And what this is, it threads into this hole right here with the use of one of the bits that it came with. It will match up in there. And this flat surface right here will engage to the bottom of your optics. So you have, uh, what are those lines? Those will be parallel, exactly level, so your optic won't be canted or anything like that. You're going to make sure you have it, you know, where your crosshairs will be completely perpendicular and this really takes out all the guesswork and having to level your optic when mounting it in. All right, so the T25 bit is what is used for this one right here. You guys can see, and it will go right here at the bottom. Then, depending, well, it's all going to be a 30 millimeter tube, but you'll be able to tension this against the bottom of your optic, and you'll know that you have a very, very good mating surface right there. Another feature on these that is not common on other scopes are these vice rings. Uh, they will use the other bit right here. As you can see, they're actually kind of color coordinated. So these will go up and mate with these here. And what you'll usually see on other scope mounts is they have the split rings and what you have to try to do is, you know, get them level and even. Well, you don't have to apparently, but I know with me, I like to have the same amount of daylight on the left as the right. And you'll usually end up having maybe 
four screws total on each ring. But this takes all that away and makes it a lot more simple. So there you go. You have four screws and they do come with some Loctite already on it or some kind of thread component. All right, so here are your vice rings. Much, much easier design. So it's going to be a lot easier to just, you know, slip my scope in like that. Man, that is, man, that is already solid. That is easy right there. Wow. And then as you can see right here, uh, 20 inch pounds of torque right here. I need to find my torque wrench. I'll make sure I get that down to proper spec. But as you can see, I do need to move it back a little so, or actually have it in backwards. <laughs> but yeah, let's get this oriented correctly. All right, see, now that I have it in the right way, the turret housing right here is properly over the level drive. There, get it nice and tight, and I know I'm on a flat surface to flat surface. Man, that is smooth. The fitment on this is impeccable. Golly. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, you pay a lot for it, but immediately just the detail, the mill work, the anodizing of this and the fitment. It is, I think it's worth the money for sure. I didn't show you guys the bottom, but it does come with a serial number, as you guys can see. And since we're down here, the third, you know, uh, feature that's unique to this are these click drives right here. So the click drives are their QD attachment and detachment method. You don't need any tools. It's different from levers that you'll see on lots of other kind of QD mounts. But all you need is your fingers. And as you can see, they have little detents on the front and the back that will lock into these wheels right here. Go to the left, you're loose. And when you wanna tighten it back down, all you need is finger strength and you're good to go. Take it on and off, and it's good to repeat zero. Now, what I do have to test out with my 04, I originally wanted it on my little B&T right here, and the 04 would not work on this right here. As you can see, I ended up scratching it up, but the click drive, the mount, when I loosened it, with my hands, it was not wide enough to go on this rail right here. And then I started kind of actually using a little mallet and everything to push the click drive to close it. When I tried to close it, it was not, it did not have the uh, grip on it to stay steady. It was still loose and shaking and everything. And then once I took it off, I found I was scratching my receiver, so. I uh, forgot the email, I sent them email to ask about it. They said something along the lines of, you know, not all rails are actually in spec and everything. But um, I'll test this out on some rails, see how it goes. Hopefully it's not going to have an issue on the Radiant Rifle I'm putting it on. But I'll show you guys the complete setup and everything once I'm done. This is just an unboxing for now. Hope you guys come back, see the finished product. Until then, take care.